All right, you guys, get ready, because today is a fiery full body compound workout. This workout is jam packed with full body compound movements to build muscle and burn fat. Compound means multi-joint movement. So we're gonna be working lots of things at one time here. Each move is done for 45 seconds with a 15 second transition. And this is a repeat so that you can nail the move and get more out of it. Equipment for this workout is a variety of weights. My lowest set is five and the highest set that I'm using is 25 pound dumbbells. A mat and your amazing body. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Do make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you not miss any workouts. And if you want access to over 200 additional fun and effective workouts, all you gotta do is click that join button below. Roll your shoulders back, brace that core. We're gonna do a quick two minute warm up. And if you have an Apple watch, I'm gonna set this to functional strength training. We're gonna start with a squat. Swing and open up the chest. When you squat down, follow your eyes downward and then pop open that chest. We want big arm movement and big legs here. Reverse lunge with a twist. Step back and then twist to that knee, keeping the chest lifted. Coming to a plank, hold that plank, and then shift into down dog. And then again, moving from plank into down dog. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is such a beautiful backdrop, isn't it? Ooh, all right, we're stepping it in for jacks. You can keep it low impact for IT or take in the jump. All right, twist it out. We're getting ready for the first movement. It is a goblet squat, weight up in the chest, a little bit of turnout in the feet, and we have 45 seconds of effort with a 15 second transition. And you guys, we're gonna do two rounds today. All right, weight is up at the chest, feet are slightly opened. So don't go too wide in your goblet squat. It's not a sumo, right? Goblet means that we're maybe feet about shoulder width apart. With that little bit of turnout. Then I'm tapping heel into heel. Inhale lower, exhale, rise it up. I'm gonna be dropping to a 120 pound weight in my left hand. I've got a rear lunge, so my right leg will stay. Rear lunge, step in, curl with the left. Drop the chest to that rear lunge, step forward, curl. To get more glute activation, Drop the chest low, and then try to balance. So when the knee comes up, squeezing the glute on that right leg. 
Again, dropping chest forward is gonna activate more glute. And you could touch the floor with that dumbbell too. Okay, I'm gonna spin it around. I'm just being a little careful here. It's a little bit wet on my deck. Well, it's not my deck, it's my sister's deck. So I'm gonna lunge back with my left leg, right hand has the dumbbell. Drop, rise up. This is great for working on some balance. And when you keep your butt strong, it helps you with your balance. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, come up and balance, please. All right, I'm gonna move into my tens for a wide, narrow hammer curl, because tens is what I have here. So thumbs will be up the entire time. Roll your shoulders back. Wide hammer, and then narrow hammer. So you get a little bit of focus on the bicep with that lunge, but this really starts to define that bicep here. Again, a little softness in the knees, eyes are up, neutral spine. And you're bringing those dumbbell heads toward that shoulder. I'm gonna drop my weight to five. We got two lateral steps with a little reach and punch. So stepping over with a punch. Reach, punch. Out, in, out, in with the feet. I have, again, my thumbs are slightly up and turned out. Both feet flat on the floor. Nice lateral movement here. Come on, big reach and that punch out. And the reach to you. Great job, one or two dumbbells because I only have 120. I'm gonna do a hinge row, wide feet, upright row, pause. Hinge, row, and I come up, pause, row. So again, push the hips back, pull the weight to the chest, and then when you come into that upright row, you use your backside. Pause at the top. And it totally works with one dumbbell, but personally, I would like to. Here, uphold. Getting into a squat. Touch the ground with the dumbbells and then bring it to overhead. I'm gonna be using my tens. So this is big movement. We're gonna spike that heart rate. Weights in front, tap the ground, push it up. So you feel like you're doing a little squat, curl, press it up. But it's as quick as you can be from the ground up to the sky. When you touch down, keep your eyes up, butt goes down and back. 
Maybe you need to go wider with your stance. That's your feet. Great job, we're starting from the top, back into that goblet squat. Step it in, and back at the 25, up at the chest. Drop, tap it in. All right, deep in that squat, drop it low. Maybe more dramatic pause. Now you know the move, right? This is where you get more out of it by repeating. Ready for that reverse lunge? With that bicep curl. Weight in your left hand. Right leg stays. See if you can balance. All right, let's do it. Oh. Drop your chest, and then up, turn that weight up. Now, if you want more leg, again, when I step back in that lunge, my it's almost like a crescent lunge, like stay straight in the back, and I come up. You're great for balance. Super. All right, let's spin it around. Weight goes to the other hand. Leg is staying in front on that left. Ooh. Roll your shoulders back. Step it back. Big curl. Now, if you're touching the weight to the ground, it's because you're bending your front knee and dropping your chest to that thigh. All right, here come those bicep curls, wide and narrow. I'm just going for the 10. Do a weight that challenges you. Wide and narrow. And sometimes too, like for instance, I would typically go a little heavier at home. What I use is what I use, but to get more, I'm gonna squeeze a little bit more. Be very mindful in the movement. Sometimes that tempo change can make it easier or harder. Watch your grip too. Relax your fingers a little bit. Gosh, it's actually kind of warm here. Woo. We're gonna take it for that lateral step over with that reach and punch. Step it out and then we reach. Shoulders back, chest up. In, out. And big reach across. Fun way to hit the shoulders, spike the heart rate.
All right, I'm gonna grab actually the 25 for that hinge row and upright row pause. Remember, push your butt back. It's like an RDL. Push back row in the bottom, upright pause. Great way to work a lot of things on the back side of your body. All right, getting ready for that squat ground to overhead. We're moving here. You have a break coming up. Open the feet up, drop, press. Touch the ground, touch the sky. Keep your eyes lifted. You don't need to look at the ground. You almost throw your hips a little bit forward as you curl press. All right, you guys, you did awesome. Here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna set yourself up for the next movement. It is a chest press with a leg drop. So you're gonna get the waist that you want. I'm gonna be using 25, because that's what I got. And then I'm gonna do a quick sip of water and I'll meet you on your back. All right, we are on the ground. Legs are up, arms are up. Back of the head is on the mat. You can have the legs out wide, or the arms out wide. Everything drops, everything goes up. You could also do a one leg drop or just work on chest press. Inhale, maybe pause at the bottom. Exhale, bring everything up. Really pushing through the heels of the hands here. When my legs come up, I push my back toward the mat. And I like that little hold at the bottom, makes you work a little harder. Staying on the ground, one dumbbell. I'm gonna keep it 25, have it over the belly button. With my elbows next to my ribs, I press it up for tricep, then a skull crusher, and then lower back to the belly button. Tricep press up, skull crusher, and lower down. In a tricep press, your elbows are tight to your side. This is where it's nice to use one heavy dumbbell. And then when we're doing the skull crusher with that one dumbbell, feels like it's gonna hit the forehead. Up, pause, down, pause. Next move, we come on up. Using just 125, we're gonna take it to a lateral lunge to my right and then turn the feet forward into a squat. I'm gonna hold the weight in my left, lateral lunge, step in, squat. I'm gonna take that weight into the hand, lateral lunge, pull it up, squat. Lateral lunge. 
And that squat is that front loaded weight squat. You could even do sumo if you want to take it wide. But slow it down. That lateral lunge, chest goes down toward the thigh. Put your weight down for a moment, stretch it out. We're gonna go to your left. Weight is up. I'm gonna hold it in the right hand to start with. Lateral lunge, squat down. You step out, your foot kind of turns out. When you come to that squat, you really gotta push that leg, oh, push into that whole entire foot. Kneeling, Whew. shoulder press to overhead extension. I'm gonna use a 20. You can stand. Press it up, take it behind the body. Now, to activate more, my feet are together and I lean back slightly. Squeezing the butt just that little bit. Bring that weight right in front of the chest. All the way up. And you can drop your dumbbells as low as you can. I'm gonna go to fives. All right, we're gonna tap back, pec fly. Arms start out wide. I scoop them out and in. So I tap back right foot, then left. The scoop. All right, just a tap back. Great way to activate the front of the shoulder, activate the chest without coming to the ground here. If you want to, you could take it into a, a full lunge. So do it feels get good to you, but it's gonna challenge you. Woo! All right, feel that alternating stretch here. Stretch. No, I want to snatch. <laughs> I'm gonna go for my 25. Start with it on the ground. Woo! Snatch it up. Switch. So I'm on heavy, right? We're at the bottom of this interval. We're getting ready to repeat everything. Remember, to squat down. Little half squat in between. You want to add a jump? You can go for that too. I like that, but you can keep it all low impact. Super job. Come on your back. Let's hustle for that muscle, you guys. On the back, you got that chest press with the leg drop. Everything is up. Down, pause. Press through the heels of the hands. You could do this on a bench. It would give you a range, bigger range of motion, especially in the chest. 
Number drop, pause. Exhale. Ooh, second round, I'm feeling it. And I'm telling you, don't rush this. All right, one dumbbell, or if you don't have one heavy, keep two. Start at the bottom. Your tricep press to skull crusher. Lock in your elbows. Heels of the hands, push the dumbbell. Press it up, bend it back, release down. Lowers down, right? It's gonna hover, elbows hover over the ground. You can activate your pelvic floor too, women. Tighten it up. We're coming up for that lateral lunge into that squat. Okay, I'm staying moderate. I'm gonna keep that 25 in my left hand as I step to the right. Step it out and squat. All right, really drop your chest down. And then again, push off that foot. You can even be dramatic. All right, like a little pop push. And I don't care if your squat's narrow or wide, right? You can change it too. Put your weight down for a moment. Take a deep breath. Oh yeah, feels good, doesn't it? You're doing great. Switch the hands. Let's go over to your left. Pop it. Again, you can vary your squat. It can be narrow. You can be wide. Kneeling, right chest, weight at the chest, press it up into that overhead extension. I'm gonna keep my 25. Ooh. Okay, I'm leaning back, push it up, bend it overhead, and drop. Now here's where you can see I can kind of lean back a little bit. Fight that gravity as the weight goes behind the head. And you get quad stimulation too. You lean back more when you do that press down. Okay, tap back, pack fly, or lunge it. Going for my fives, arms out wide. Left leg goes back first. And switch. Remember, out wide. And then bring pinkies inward.
How's it feeling for you though? You guys doing good? It's all about consistency here. And it's always about you versus you getting stronger. That's the stuff that will keep you thriving as you age. Super job. Let's finish off with that heavy snatch. Yeah. Grab it, place it in the middle of your mat. One heavy weight, one hand first. You can add the jump at the bottom. A snatch that stays tight to the body. Good spike to finish it. My heart rate went up to 150. Whew. All right, take a couple of nice deep breaths here because we're gonna do a core finisher that is six minutes and 30 seconds. Whew. Start with a weight on your back. Oh, and let's do it. I'm using a 10 pound dumbbell. We're gonna do that tuck in. Let's start with it reaching for the feet and tucked into that ball. And then extend out. Really tuck in pause. Where did you come from, baby? How did you know I needed you? How did you know I needed you so badly? Legs up for a dumbbell crunch, reaching toward the feet. If it becomes too much on the neck, weight down, hands behind the head. Feet go down, we're gonna take the weight on the hips, press the hips up. So tuck under, press through the heels, and thrust hips. It is part of your core. And then we're gonna get ready for one leg. And you have the option of putting the weight on the hip that stays with the foot on the floor. So I'm gonna go for the back leg. Weight stays there. Other leg lifts up in the single leg bridge. And my leg is gonna stay lifted or it can go knee to knee and it makes it harder. Make sure you do have a hand down. That's gonna help you stay a little more stable. Hips up, switch it. Switch weight, switch hands. Down, up, single leg bridge. And again, you can go knee toward knee. 
They don't touch. You don't need to touch them, you might fall. We are going to be flipping next for forearm plank. On the forearms, we're going to drop the hips to the front of your mat and to the back. We're gonna be coming to a plank with a cross climber. Knee to opposite elbow. Flip it, come into a scissor, bicycle. Reverse lift here, so crunch knees up, push out, hip lift, extend out. Hold for just a moment. Oh, come on, hold it. Let's hold it longer than a moment. If you need to, hands can go under the hips. One last movement here. Oh my gosh, right. Feeling that. Pull it in tight. Maybe your quads are firing up too. Two, one, ton. Nice job. Reach it out. Woo! Yay for you. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I was struggling. <laughs> right? I love being with you, my crew. I was trying to get my sister out here. She said she's out of work, but I'm so glad I did it. I feel so much better, especially because I traveled yesterday. It felt so good to move my body in so many different ways. All right, let's stretch it out. I'm gonna hug that front knee into the chest. And then drop it across the body for a twist. And then reach that arm out, opening up the chest, spreading your fingers. And what an accomplishment for you. You know, it is tough sometimes on our own to get those workouts in, but I'm telling you, as soon as you start moving and you, you've got some music going, and then all of a sudden, next thing you know, your mood changes. All right, knee back into the chest, 
and you feel so much better. Feel better about yourself. All right, figure four on that leg. A good little hug in here. And then I'll give you my calorie count too. Let's end the workout. So again, I used functional strength training around 40-ish minutes. Total calorie was 261. Active was about 200. And remember, we're building muscle. This is what's gonna affect your resting metabolic rate. All right, relax. And what that means is that knee in, you're burning more calories per minute when you have more muscle mass. When you don't have the muscle mass dropped across, you burn fewer calories per minute. And especially if you're not active during the day. And one of the biggest things too is that you don't have to do more cardio. Just be more active. Walk more places, get up and move a little bit more during your day. If you've ever heard of NEAT, N-E-A-T, that's what that means. All right, bring it in and then figure four stretch. Hug knees in, rock yourself up to standing. Oh, oh my gosh, what a great view. This is a great location, you guys. I gotta tell you, this was so fun to be here. Reach it out in T, opening up, looking up. Oh, it's, I mean, the birds. There's lots of birds on my driveway. She just has different birds. Maybe the ducks went by, thumbs go down. And then bring it behind the head, open it up and then bring it behind the back and open up. All right, you guys, you did it. You made it through, high five to you. Let's roll it back, big inhale, attitude of gratitude to your amazing body, reach it back. Oh, pull it into that heart and one more deep breath here. Ah, oh, woo, yay. If you enjoyed that workout, do make sure you thumb it up comment below and i'll make sure if you click up here there's the video that i did here with my sister it may have been now two years ago boy time flies doesn't it you guys have an awesome day and i'll see you back on that mat take care love you guys bye, -bye.